This local sports report is presented by Turner Plumbing and Heating, a proud supporter of the Stratford Warriors. Turner Plumbing has been providing hassle-free plumbing solutions for 70 years in Perth County and beyond, servicing residential, commercial, and industrial properties. Request a service call for repairs and maintenance by calling 519-271-2782 or book online at Turner Plumbing. Plumbing.ca. An electric atmosphere inside the Almond for Game 6 in the Cherry Cup Championship. Over 2,000 fans hoping to see the Stratford Warriors bring home the title. The Warriors hitting the ice of 3-2 in the series. The KW Siskins looking for a win on the road to force Game 7 back in Waterloo on Sunday. Opening period, the Siskins looking to strike first. This is Mateo Amaral with a lead pass for Ben Oliver. He's got a break. Big save from Owen Wilmore. He keeps the game scoreless, stopping Oliver. A few minutes later, it's another good chance for the Siskins. Oliver driving to the net. The rebound is there. Owen Wilmore denies Mateo Amaral. The Warriors' netminder very sharp in the first. No score after 20 minutes. Second period, here comes Stratford. Zach Hatch is at the point. It's a one-timer and Hatch scores. That's his first goal of the playoffs, and the Almond erupts. Stratford is up 1-0, and they get another one midway through the period. Sheldon Price centers. Patrick Cole gets the goal. Another massive goal from Cole in this series. He gives the Warriors a two-goal advantage. Just over a minute later, Stratford power play. Zach McKenna is at the far point. He fires into traffic and scores. The captain extending the lead. The Warriors looking good. They have a 3-0 advantage after two periods. Back to the highlights in a minute. First, a reminder, this video is presented by Turner Plumbing and Heating, a proud supporter of the Warriors. Book a service call at 519-271-2782. Let's head to the third, the Siskins with a man advantage, and it's a good play from Nolan Adkins. He gets in the shooting lane and blocks the shot. The Warriors would kill off the penalty. Then watch the middle, Hunter Nagy with the puck, and it's a big hit from Andrew Van Antwerp. The Siskins defenseman trying to spark his team, and if few minutes later, KW gets on the board. This is Will Elliott scoring from the face-off. The Siskins closing the gap. They now trail 3-1 with eight minutes to go. But from there, Owen Wilmore shuts the door. He makes two saves on this play. Wilmore gobbling up the point shot. He made 39 saves in the game. And as time expires, the celebration begins. <laughs> seen at the Almond is the Warriors win the Cherry Cup title for the first time since 2016 and they advance to the Sutherland Cup round robin. <laughs> Stratford wins a hard-fought series in six games over KW. 3-1 is the final on Friday night. Here is the trophy presentation. The captain, Zach McCann, hoisting the Cherry Cup. What a night for the Warriors. Here is McCann, who begins our post-game comments. It's a pretty surreal moment. Um, you know, you can feel the energy from this crowd, all these people that care about us. Um, nothing I care about more than this team and uh, the battles we went through. Um, you know, Nolan, Hatch, Pricey, Camden, like guys I've been with since I was um, a rookie, we all just stuck together, believed in each other, and, and it paid off. It's been a journey. We started back in August and we knew we had something special then. But we knew it was going to be a, a hell of a road and, you know, we couldn't have done it without every single one of the guys in that room. And, uh, you know, it just means a lot uh, for the town of Stratford. There's a lot of history here. A lot of big names have gone through here. 
I mean, it's, uh, I mean, you've seen the 2,000 plus fans in here tonight. It's an unbelievable place to play, and it just feels so good to, to get it done, especially on home ice. It's the greatest feeling in the world. We've been working so hard for this for Zach, me, Zach Hatch, like for four years now. And uh, the stuff we've been through with the pandemic, it's just an incredible feeling to finally get it done and be on top. It's definitely crazy. You know, anything that happens here is a, is a big deal, and we got a, a lot of uh, community support, so that's awesome. And, uh, you know, like, it couldn't do it with the better guys, you know. I think uh, I think we had the upper hand here. We we're a real tight knit group, and we worked real hard. Like in practice, we'd we'd bag and we'd battle each other just as hard as we battle anyone else. So I think it was just a perfect group. I don't even know right now. Crazy. Uh, all the hard work, all the dedication the boys bring every week pays off right now. Uh, yeah, it's surreal. I don't even know what to say. Really, it's awesome. It's awesome. Four years in the making for this one. Let's go. This is four years in the making, Darren. It's. It doesn't just come from, like, we talked about this a lot, like, Zach McCann, Sheldon Price, Zach Hatch, and I, like, we've been here since the very start. Like, this started four years ago, and this win isn't just for us. We, like, we talked, it's it's for Evan Dowd, Malcolm McLeod, Clayton Lewis, Mitchell Casey, all the boys that didn't get a finish off their season, Tyler Parr, guys who we looked up to in the room, and most importantly, it's for the big guy up there, and we love him with all our hearts, and this is for him tonight. So, we're going to enjoy it, and... We're pumped, if you couldn't tell. We got the best fans in the world, bleep that out. But look at this atmosphere, 3,000, 2,000, I don't know how many, it's packed. People sitting on the chairs, just benches, whatever, stairs. This place was electric tonight, and I'm so grateful for every one of those guys, and I love them with all my heart. And we got some more business to attend to in a week. Surreal, it doesn't even feel real yet. I mean, this is what we worked from from August till now for, and uh, that's to come true. For that to come true feels feels amazing. Well, honestly, it was amazing. Like we just worked so hard for this, and I feel like we deserve this. We had an amazing season, and I think we had a really good playoffs, and we got a deep team. You know, we got a great group of guys here. It's family. Right? I think that's the only word that I have for it. Uh, it's very exciting having all these people, my my loved ones, and family and friends all around me. Uh, I had a row of probably 15 people come to watch tonight, and it's just. Uh, warms my heart to win tonight. Uh, we've been waiting. We, we knew we had a special group at the start of the year, so I'm very excited that we got the result that we got, uh, but we're not done yet. What a feeling. Something definitely I'll never forget. You know, winning a chair with the boys, coming back, it's unreal. Just don't have any words for it. Like, they're my brothers, and I love every single one of them so much, and we couldn't have done it without every single person on this team, including the APs, including the guys who don't play every night. Everyone had a role on this team, and that's how we executed it. First off, best fans in the league. Yeah, they're with us. They're with us all the time. And, yeah, this is a tight group, real tight group. We're all brothers in here, and, you know, we're playing for all the 20-year-olds in this game, but one 20-year-old for sure that's looking over us, Scooney, this one's for him. The crowd was uh, phenomenal. Uh, we had a great crowd in here last Friday and Monday, and uh, we knew coming into it that we are going to have a really – Good, uh, good crowd in here tonight, and chatted about it, and, and trying to use the crowd to uh, to our advantage, right? So um, we talked a great deal about it. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh boy! Outstanding, outstanding. Um, yeah, just. Just unbelievable. We've got a great group of guys here. Um, management scouts, support staff, executive, uh, who've put a lot of time in. So it's great to see the guys uh, get to this point and have a chance to celebrate with uh, with the community. Did you see that coming? Uh, partially. I, I thought it might be coming. I had heard that that might be happening.